What's going on guys? Micah here coming at you with the vlog number three of my 31 day vlogging challenge. So it's about six in the morning and um, I'm not fully clothed. Clearly I just got out of the shower so I'm going to do my morning routine. fresh next you guys see that charcoal toothpaste I've seen this stuff on the internet never actually tried it fluoride free gluten free vegan non GMO cruelty free so I'm gonna give this a go <laughs> it's black all right I think I'm good to go All right, guys, had to make a little pit stop to get some post-it notes. Oh, and you'll see why later. So now I am headed to one of my uh, favorite coffee shops. It's called the Coffee Shop Company. It's here in the Woodlands, which is, the Woodlands is a township. It's actually Spring, that's the city. People always say they're from the Woodlands, but you're just from spring. Anyways, and it's a cool place. People are nice. It's uh, really clean. They're friendly. And their Wi-Fi is on point. And they have electrical outlets for like every single booth. So I'm like stoked because I can power up. That's one thing I find as I'm moving into the world of vlogging and videography. Power. Like it's great to have all these like fancy gadgets. But without power, all of it's basically useless. I'm gonna take care of some editing. I got some stuff to do. That's basically my job. A lot of reading. And I take classes online, like at the Skillshare. They teach basic skills. And it's great, you can learn all kinds of stuff. All right, so I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I have just arrived at Coffee Shop Company. I don't know if I'll be able to find a table. It's super loud. Oh, found one. Right, guys now time to go god Whew. it's cold probably need to take my backpack off <laughs> oh. all right made it so done with the editing done with the emails now I'm headed to Woodlands Gymnastics oh but first I'm gonna get some food Remember when I bought those post-its earlier? So here's the reason. Now that little label will serve as a great reminder for your posture. So let me explain. Now, when you get in your car, oh, my lights are on. Um, you sit, I don't know how long your commutes are, but maybe let's say 30 minutes tops, okay? So that's commuting there, commuting back. That's a lot of time spending in the car. Kelly Starrett is a physio in CrossFit, says, sitting is the new smoking. And I agree. You feel like absolute crap after you've been sitting for a while. Think of a plane ride or anything like that. So say you're sitting in your car, da 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 da, -da and most people, what do they do? They tend to adjust their mirror to their crappy posture. I know that's what I used to do. But now what I do is initially get in the car, 
sit upright, find your position, and make sure everything's good to go. You can reach everything, da 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 Then adjust your posture to the height of you sitting upright. Think 90 degrees, basically, okay? Hips back, stomach is tight, you're braced. Looking, you can make sure you can see, all that good stuff. So instead of adjusting the mirror to my poor posture, I adjust my posture to the mirror. Just a little tip. Like I said, remember I want to deliver some value each time. So that's a little knowledge nugget that can maybe help you and uh, save some back pain. Because I know it's like, ugh, get out of the car, get out of the plane. I'm feeling like absolute crap. All right, guys. So this concludes vlog number three. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did like it, go ahead and give that little thumbs up. If you want to see more content, go and subscribe. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I hope you can use some of these little value bombs in your life to improve your quality of life and so on and so forth. Other than that, guys, keep learning, growing, and moving.